am now, with scenes of sustained threat, outdated dialogue, strong language and raised voices that some may find upsetting and offensive, it's Sorry Nation Street. You know, Deirdre's actually booked me into the clinic this week for a checkup. Well, it's about fucking time. Here, I made you both friggin' eggs. You sure that's wise? Speaking of eggs, I'm a shell of the woman I once was. That's probably for the best. No! What with Tracy, me mother, and his soul-destroying ass. Oh, give it a rest. Balls! You can't keep flying off the handle like this, Deirdre. I'm sorry. Any woman worth the salt to kick off at this shit show, I'm telling you. Look, I'm going to wake up Tracy. You know this appointment I have? Yeah. What? Well, are they going to roger me with a camera? They'll get showered in faecal matter. Well, rather them than me. Bloody fucking Barlows. They're a daily car crash. Can you start noticing them and all? I'm still sore from that attack. I'll tell you one thing, we've got bigger problems than your household. You're a cheeky shit, you. Has Scylla had Rita's money yet? Solicitors have phoned. Well, fuck them. Tell them where to go. It's legal, though. When's that stop, Jizz? Oh, I can't be fucked. Shut up. Oh, I've missed this party house, that's for sure. What are you doing here, Peter? I ran out of bush mills, didn't I? We're not a bastard off licence, Peter. <laughs> I'm happy you're back, but you need a job or something. I need rent, Tracy. God knows what Ken's medical fees will be after today. They rendered me unemployable. What? Jail policy. Oh, for twatting hell's sake. It's because I'm a murderer. I can't have you and George Best leeching off me daily. I'm stressed enough. Yeah, so am I. Bollocks. You know, if you stay in this house long enough, you'll go mad. Look at your brother. He left it once and he still comes back with black eyes and off his face. She's not wrong. I must say Deirdre's right. Thank you. I can't control my backside. Blanche is a witch. And the atmosphere is poor as a result. I'm legally bound by the rules. Oh, fuck the rules. No. They can arrest me as quick as they release me. I'm not really free. I'll make use of myself around the house. That's all I can offer. Now, I'm going to Dev's to buy some caniston. You've not got the money. I've got a slate. I can always give a few sly blowjobs. Cash in hand, I guess. Why do you need a paper? Oh, go away. I'm getting tired of you. Why don't you go over there and drink piss water lager in your overalls? Enjoy your last bits of freedom. Before what, eh? Before I fuck you all up. Permanent. Best put your hard hat on. Look! I'm not playing now. You'll get a fucking smack plat. And you'll not know it's coming. I probably will. The only thing you have on me is the ability to change your hair every scene. You are only doing this because not one bird on this street would even unzip you and you can see the future, so you know it. There's a lot of dog shit outside again. I, I know. Sit down, I've something to tell you. Oh, you're not fucking pregnant, are you? No, Chaz will always be an only child. What is it then? I had a call from Chaz's boss. Told him all about me work on Rita and Chaz's daily deeds. I don't like this at all. Well, he's pleased. He wants to see you. You what? He thinks you need convincing. I think you all need to get fucked. I'm not being part of this shit housery. I'm staying away. Staying away? Or getting in the way? Fuck off. It's not right. Rita's done now. Nor has anyone. What are you trying to wreck? Wreck? You mean improve to suit ourselves? So is it a phone chat? Oh no. He wants to talk to you face to face. What? When? In two hours time. At the Laughing Donkey and you go alone. Do you remember when we went for a picnic on the Red Wreck? No. Yeah, when we played javelin with the hypodermics and had the shag. You were pissed. You won't remember, but that's how I want us to be. Unfortunately, we can't have romance like that if you're not on my side or Chessie's. 
Do I look like any propositioning right now, Danny? I'm not even dressed. I oh, know. It's the undressing I'm interested in, love. I'm narky. I've just got out of bed. Well, again, it's a getting into I care about. No, I need you to listen to the job I'm offering you. I have a perfectly good job changing the dog shit bins for the council. Oh, yeah, well, you can see the shit now is all over the cobbles, thanks to the gangs. So you're going to have to find something else, ain't you? I can't make these pyjamas look good, let alone put a velvet dress on and sit yeah, well, come on, Slyam. Stop twatting me over the Swede with your sad violin and face up to improving. You're putting pressure on me to be a posh slug when I can't even shave me men's Liam, properly. for fuck's sake, have you seen who's standing in front of us? Morning, Dev. Sorry about that, she doesn't think. No, it's, it's nice to know somebody has the same problem. I'm off to the pharmacist. Hang on, I don't... I'm not the same. Oh, fucking great. Now the whole street thinks I'm hairy. Give me fucking strength. Fuck this. You have to go to the clinic, Ken. You have to face up to it. No, I don't. Fuck it. No, not fuck it. Yes, fuck it and continue fucking it until it's fuckless. I can't put my ass on the line. You can't ignore this problem anymore. We can live with it. We cannot. What if they do something terrible? Something painful? Something traumatic. Like? I'm needing a poo already. Let's go and get it over with. You can spin around and fuck off, Carrot. I want a magazine and some revels. And I want to unleash me seed on Judy Finnegan, but life's a shit house. Now go back to your cow, mother. It's all right. If he wants to spend his money, he's just like any other customer. Me mum says she wants the Cosmopolitan. Does she? Well, it's over there if you can reach it. Boss man's watching you. So I hear. She, or rather we, don't give a fuck about him. You should. Is the king here? Can I smack him? Not if you want suing and all. And whilst you're at it, hear this. If he tries me, or your mother does, you'll, you'll fucking lose. We've got you scared. He's doing his bit and his mum's getting your bank balance. You're necking that, aren't you? I need a couple before I see him, don't I? I'm sure he's a nice fella. I'll probably get a fancy scotch when I arrive. Better than this budget shit. Do you know what? What? I've always fancied myself as a gangster. Now it's compulsory to have at least five in every episode. I could go in a trilby. Maybe even take a cigar. Well, you'd look halfway attractive. Hey, 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 you have to say that fella. He is brave, isn't he? You know he's doing this for Chez. He's not going by choice. Oh, and another thing. I need to phone solicitor. Get that Sullivan fleece. Are you waiting for somebody? I'm an appointment. Boss. Yeah, why? Better get your skates on. Well, he's got some right rough bastards at the door. Called me a cunt and then took Chesney for a chat. You serious? You better go see that boss, man. He thinks Chez don't want to work for him. No, I don't want him working for him. And I'm going to tell that big shot mm. prick. Just keep him sweet, yeah? Your thongs are a bit weathered, Sarah. I'm not surprised. Have you heard out from David? Oh, who gives a shit where he is? Good riddance. Well, he's not been back in a day or two. Probably living in a doorway somewhere. Oh, Gail. We can only hope, can't we? I wash my hands of him, little weed. He's no more a prophet than I'm Ursula Andres. You're not afraid? He's going to burn the street down, remember? Or so he says. All on his own, like a big wizard. He's so powerful, isn't he? I'm fucking trembling. Oh, Sarah, you are awful. But he is a rodent twat. If he sets foot near my air dryers again, I'll have him nourished. However we laugh, he's had a few things right. Tracy going to jail. Your kid. I do worry that he's dangerous. He's already smashed fuck out of everyone's windows. Well, Ken, do you want the bad news or the fucking horrific news? Either way, you're getting both. The bad news is your bowels are like the swamp on Labyrinth. The horrific news is the procedure to fix it is tantamount to sodomy. Well, there must be some way of flushing him out, like one of them irrigation things, surely. That's exactly it. We use a special hose. We're saved. <laughs> I can take that, certainly. Are you sure? I've had objects up there in my earlier years when I was seeing Joanna Lumley. Is there any chance you'll be personally overseeing this hose procedure? I'm just a consultant. <laughs> Worth an ask. You'll be under local anaesthetic, so it should take the edge off it. We offer sake, too, free of charge. To get me smashed. That's right. Is there lasting damage? Eccentric behaviour and a decreasing IQ. <laughs> Jess, quickly. I wonder when you'd show. 
We need a chat. Yeah. When I've had another whiskey. You call me here. I'm not fucking about. Let's have it. Have it. Yeah, I heard you took our chest. Now let's have it. Oh, have it, eh? Where? Not here. The gents will do. I'm straight. I mean for the chat, Quigley. Sue yourself. Right. So do you want me palms against the wall? Leave Archers. I've had enough. All right, calm it. You're poisoning his head. For the record, we done nought to him. We only took him for a pint. He's too young for a fucking pint. You're too old for this. Now let's commence this little meeting, shall we? Ah, you act hard with Max and Paddy here. But somebody's going to have you. You're an obstacle. I don't like obstacles. It's time to shift you. Who do you think you are? Oh, Spice Girls fan. Don't make me get violent. Look, you don't scare me. While we're on it. And you stay away from my wife. I won't touch your wife with a samurai sword. She just knows that the old generation needs replacing. And anarchy is the only way to do it if they won't budge. You think so? Yeah, I do. And I'm going to be mayor of Weatherfield before you know it. You won't. Moral a street like that. Authorities aren't asked. The more I take power, the more you'll all bow down to me, Dad. And then you can all collectively suck me dick. You think anyone's going to stand for bollocks like that? Well, I'm sure Liz will, I think. Do you want to be the next one, Dad? Be careful with juice. I, I don't need your analysis. You're so sloppy. Take your breakfast and go to fuck. Now, now can you see why I don't want Becky here? They've had 50 quid out of the till, you, you do realise? She's been sacked by the boss man. We might be able to change her if we try. If he can sack her, I'm sure we can. We're not a rehabilitation centre, Haley, And you're as soft as Care Bear shit. So you'll think about it. You'll just try it regardless, you daft twat. I promise I can make her see her issues and deal with them. The only thing she deals in is substance. And I won't be taken for a knob. Oh, Roy, I wouldn't mind taking your knob now. <laughs> Oh, give over shagging in public and make me a bacon balm. You're a raging stallion. I don't know what to suggest, mate. I'm busy. Well, these are dangerous people, aren't they? Come on, you must have some advice. Some sense of flipping use to society. You're a butcher, you're all supposed to be proud, aren't you? Pillars of the community. I know me mum's a slapper, but she's harmless. Give me anything, mate. Time for a slash here. Your mum all right? She's on the mend. Just want some flipping vengeance. At least lend me a few sharp tools, eh? I've told you we'd no off, Dick. You must have this type of weed killer. It says it's available all over. No, uh, these online products, Fred. They exist in the robot world, my friend. I can't pay online since I bought too much blue. I'm away to Audrey's to give her Lorna doing. I'm being threatened with a pegging and I'd rather avoid it. Uh, well, I'll swap that for my overgrown pubic region. You should think yourself lucky. But, uh, maybe I should head over to yon medical centre and get an opinion. Fred, unfortunately, I have a reputation. I'm the king of sleaze. Casting over of groceries. It's embarrassing for me. Uh, aye, I can see your point. I'll say I can see your point. Uh, I've got charm. A big wang? I can't show it off because it's hidden. I wish I could see mine. Oh, I've not had a bit in months for it. I'm not a real one. Just inflatable Edith. I could have a word with Audrey. Mm. Oh, no, no, I'm not in my pubes trimmed by Audrey, Fred. Humiliating. I'll only grow back in a day and... I want to stay away from that, thank you. But no, 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 my friend. This is a m medical procedure. All I want is to be back to having that back door going like the bell on that front one. That's not a joke. Now, of course, I see this online threat to my business. Now, I feel like ingesting rat poison. I can go elsewhere, you mad cunt. Yeah, I suggest you do, my friend. Maybe a hardware store in the city. You can get me some shears, too, while you're at it. Elizabeth, there's a rough-looking bastard here to see you.